one of the things that, that I have learned as part of being the mayor of the city of Rifle is that water rights are paramount to the ongoing health and welfare of a community. The sewer plant, the reclamation center, is powered by 12 to 14 acres worth of solar panels that was installed at the same time that that building was constructed. Really focused on in the city of Rifle is the aspect of renewable energy. Uh, it's, it has become our belief and our drive in the last t eight to ten years, and the idea for us is to, as best possible, marry it together with the extractive industry, knowing that the extractive industry is going to be here. Uh, we're very realistic in that. Colorado Mountain College has is, is established a program to convert switchgrass into butanol, and we are partners with them as far as growing the switchgrass on some of the land that the city owns, as well as Colorado State and other foundations. Actual research facilities that put together. We are looking at taking grasses and converting them to a butanol, butanol being a second generation biofuel. For every gallon of gasoline that you use, it takes about 10 gallons of water to produce that one gallon of gasoline. We're going from a 10 gallons of water to one gallon of gasoline to a, basically a one to one. Every one gallon of water that we use, we're literally producing a gallon of butanol. We are currently standing in front of the largest community-owned solar array in the nation. Uh, this is a solar array that is part of the Holy Cross electric system. It was put together by the Clean Energy Collective and the premise behind it is that uh, all of the ratepayers have the opportunity to buy solar panels instead of installing them on their roof. They are uh, available at this solar farm and this uh, current array has the prospect of doubling in size in the future. In the production of natural gas and or oil shale, there is always the use of water. And of course, when you're talking about solar energy, the use of water is diminished to the point where you don't use water to put these panels up. You don't use water to generate the power. And, and so there's a savings as far as the overall scope of water usage. City of Rifles backing of these types of projects. I think it not only reflects on, on how we view things as a city council and as a city staff, but I think it's starting to reflect on how we as a community view things, recognizing that there's room for all of these energy projects and that we embrace all of them. We are the masters of our universe as it is today and if we're not taking care of our universe it's not going to be kind to us so we have to treat our world as we would like to be treated almost goes back to the golden rule doesn't it